While the body is still getting some time to cure, the interior was finished in the last episode, so this time we're going to move on to the chassis. Now for the chassis, all the parts were of course removed from the sprues, cleaned up a bit, and then I applied a couple of light coats of primer, and then I will be painting them in various different colors. For the brake calipers I decided to go with some Ferrari yellow. I painted the calipers first and then later on I will paint the rest of the disc brake with some silver on a brush and add a photo etch piece to the top. The exhaust pieces were painted with Alclad polished aluminum and after I applied the polished aluminum I weathered them a bit with some heat staining burnt iron from Alclad as well. Changed up a bit on the overall result, I decided not to paint all the silver parts in the same polished aluminum, instead some other parts were just painted with regular silver. And of course there are also a lot of parts painted in black so I just decided to show one as it's all pretty much the same and it would take quite a while to show it all in video. Now the main chassis was not painted flat black that was painted with Zero Paints' textured black to give it a sort of undercoated bed lined finish. All the parts and pieces for the chassis are now painted in their main colors so I could move on to adding some detail with just a brush and some Vallejo paints. First of all, I'm just gonna add some black to certain areas like rubbers and also some other pieces to give it a bit more depth. And then I'm gonna add some silver to some other parts as well. The backside of the disc brakes was painted silver 
and the top side there was a hub and I decided to do that in gunmetal. On most cars this is either black or a silver along with the brake discs, but I thought a gunmetal would look good. And that is pretty much all the detailing needed to be done to all those parts, so I could move on to just assembling everything. For all the assembly here I'm using super glue as this does not react with the painted parts and it sticks them together really well. All of the assembly is now done, so a couple of final photo etch pieces from KA models were added to the disc brakes and also to the intercooler or radiator. Not sure which one it is, but looked good enough to me. After that was all applied with some regular super glue, I moved on to weathering the chassis a slight bit with some Tamiya Paneline accent color. 